Ladies and gentlemen, another episode of Cork in the North. Thank you very much for being here. Before we crack on with this episode, I want to just mention to us our sponsors, the people that are saving us, the people that are keeping us afloat. We are above sea level. We were below for a while, now we're above, and it's the Doyen Pub on the Lisburn Road. The Doyen Pub is a great place to go for food, for drink, for a night out, for a wee date, to go and watch an event. You can get 25% off your food if you go to the Doyen on the Lisburn Road, Wednesday to Saturday, and use the code CORK25. Tell them you, we sent you. Tell them CORK the North Podcast sent you. Let them know you come in because of us. They'll be delighted to see you. We have a live stand-up show going on there soon. It's sold out. We're going to have a live podcast going on there soon. Tickets are going to be available, first of all, to the patrons of this podcast. Because of the amount of patrons that we have, that event could actually sell out just through the patrons. So you have to sign up for £3 a month to get an extra episode every week and some early access to tickets, et cetera, et cetera. The links are all below, okay? So please do, if you like what we do here and you like the little chats that we have and the messing around that we always have, please do support us three quid a month. It's less than a price of a cup of coffee to keep this podcast going. And people who are on the Patreon got access to tickets to my tour and they will also get, you know, things like priority seating if they want it and they can ask questions on the podcast and stuff like that some of them don't they just like listening to us and they like watching it and that's all we want there, there's no maintenance there's no maintenance with them they're good people and we want you to be a good person are you a good person then you can sign up to the patreon three pounds a month sign up for six months just help us out it's really good of you and we do appreciate it the Doyen pub the lisburn road cork 25 25 off the food i've been down there loads i highly recommend the gammon it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Great service. You can go there for a few drinks. If you're heading into town, go there and watch a bit of sport. There's loads on. There's different bars, restaurants, function rooms, comedy shows. Uh, there's comedy on this month. There's comedy on this month. Where's Col- it? Colin Murphy. Colin Murphy from the Blame Game. One of the best comedians in the country is going to be in the dying. You can go down and you can watch it. Tell them we sent you. Okay, we do appreciate it. Also, I'm on tour. You'll notice I'm on tour in September. Some venues have sold out. We put on extra shows. Some places are getting there. My second Mandela Hall, just about to go. Glasgow, just about to go. Cork could do with a bit of a push. Dublin, what the fuck? What have I done to you? You're just jealous. You're just jealous that I'm from Cork and you're from Dublin. Please buy tickets. London, nearly gone. Birmingham, nearly gone. Newry, about 80 tickets left for Newry. This is fantastic and I really appreciate it. Okay, guys, we're going to crack on with the episode. Everything you need is below in the bottom. We do appreciate everybody that listens and downloads. We're growing all the time with a solid fan base and you're part of that. Sign up to the Patreon, visit the Doyen, come and see me on tour. Just don't come anywhere near me house. <laughs> Were you <laughs> drunk at the darts, James? Do you remember I, just... I cut your hair? Yeah, I haven't got a cut since. Look at yeah, that. You cut his hair at the, on stage. No, you were, there, you, were, you were there You were there. physically, but you weren't there. Oh, mentally I was. Uh, mentally. I was in a happy place. But backstage, he was like, so the way we're sitting now, he was underneath me. His legs were like this. My legs were spread and his head was here. Like <laughs> like I was crowned and giving birth to him. And I essentially shaved a mohawk into James's head. And I haven't had a dog. cut since. Look at yeah, that. And look how, look how, look how good of a barber I am. So, so you thought, while the darts is on, I'm going to get somebody to just to shave my head. Somebody <laughs> said something about uh, darts players having mohawks. Yeah. Only one like, fella has it. Yeah. Well, it's this, a Scottish guy, isn't he? He's a Scottish guy. guy. This is the fella that he, has he it He dyes it like 50 different colours or something. Yeah, we didn't have any dye to do that backstage. And do you know what? We probably could have went deeper could it but, do you know it actually looked just so good that I was like I actually just it was just a I nice just like it as a haircut I just give him a nice haircut <laughs> yeah, I was meant to give him a mohawk and I just give him a lovely so fade so playing on stage and people are just going why the fuck is there a guy getting a haircut <laughs> at the front of the <laughs> no, stage no. while there's a dark no, we did, this is backstage right before this it started. is backstage this so wait, but you, didn't you cut him his hair on Backst- stage no well. backstage oh, was just, back- just I thought, backstage I thought you did something on you stage as well me you cut my hair on stage no I don't think I didn't it'd be really funny if like you did if like stars in your eyes was on the next time and I was just sitting there and there's somebody just getting a haircut in the middle of a farm no one references it and there's no one references it no one wrestles or somebody just stands there in a swimsuit <laughs> just wait until, uh, until it, like, yeah, do you ever see the TikTok barbers who do like haircuts on the street and they're all like I I, oh, I love those like no one so it's like some guy in the middle of Belfast he's like free haircut mate and the guy's like oh, oh. yes yes and then they cut it and he gets his life story and I was like so what did you do for all these years blah, blah, blah. and they do a full ticket <laughs> I would love to make a sketch of it where I'm like free haircut mate and just start cutting someone's hair and like so long have you barbered for and I'm like I don't <laughs> just, just, uh, just cutting your hair in start public. with the shave right down the middle <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah we have to continue now <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Will you see when I finish this? <laughs> it's going to be a real doozy. Um, yeah, I got a big cut there. I got a big. big I seen you big, got that night. Where'd you go cut. for this one? 
Don't oh. say the Turks. No, I didn't go to the Turks. I like the Turks. The Turks are good. Oh, but the I, Turks I are like, good. Oh. But I went to this fella. Uh, uh, he's near the Turks. <laughs> And no, I, you need to stay away from anywhere near the Turks. I, but the Turks are great. They're great. They're great. But the thing is, the Turks do the nose and the ear and this other fella doesn't. And I was a bit like, well, I'd like to go to the Turks because they do a bit more of a bigger package. Yeah. It's included in the package. But them the... cutting more hair isn't you getting more value out of your haircut if that's why you're breaking it down. No, but, but also, <laughs> can I just say, my my barber's gone up from £16 to £20 in a month. £20 standard? For a trim. For a trim, I've yeah. been paying £20 for... Which is, I'm told, listen, I'm all, I'm all for living wage. Go yeah. last, but, but, but you notice it like it's grand, it's totally fine. With it. Looks good, go yeah. look, Mara, but I, I cut it really short. Cool. And somebody messaged me on Instagram saying my hair was too short and that I shouldn't be having hair this short. Some person, everyone here, everyone's went, just thank, thanks giving very much you for grief. Your Opinions are like arseholes, mate. Everyone has one, but but they, they shouldn't they just find it. But I, I decided. <laughs> Don't I decided to cut it. I decided to I cut it really short. Uh, yeah, I my issue I've always had with your hair is they always. I'm, I'm sorry that you have an issue. with No, my I hair. do have an issue with it. My issue is they always leave like here too long. But I asked Let for that. Oh, Why do you ask for that though? Because I want it to be thick at the sides, so it goes up. But it's thick like at thick the, thick the sides. sides, and then it like dips in. <laughs> yeah, see, it shouldn't dip in. If what it's thick at the sides <laughs> and thin at the top, it's not a good look, Andrew. <laughs> You're you're trying to mask here by putting the tension here. Oh, come on, hold on a second. Yes, let's calm down now. No, I'm trying. I'm being a good friend. This right is now. the drink problem oh, coming out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so that is. I do not have a drink problem. Yeah. I got drunk at the dart and apparently I have a fucking drink. Yeah, problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Anyway, um, I acknowledge. <laughs> I acknowledge. I acknowledge. You acknowledge in good faith. In good faith, and in an honest capacity. <laughs> yeah, that I am going tin at the front. Yes, I acknowledge it. Yeah, and I, I don't reject it. It's no. night. It's natural well, you selection. Can. You can. It is what it is. It is what it right, is. It is what it is. But you want to know why I'm tick at the front? You're thick then, at the front. You're you know thin what, at the front. Do you want to know why I'm tick at the front? You're, you're, you're saying you're thick at the front. My hair. Sorry, my hair is tin at the front. Do you yes, know why yes. I'm tin at the front? I do know. It's because know. three, Genetics. four years ago, I used to be very tick at the front. Uh huh. Super tick. Yeah. Some of the tickest of tick. Like, like, <laughs> Did I you remember, visit Chernobyl? I remember somebody said to me after a gig, going, geez, you fine head of hair. And that was yeah, four years yeah, ago. Yeah, that was yeah, before yeah. pandemic. Right, right, right. But the pandemic did something. Yeah. The, the, are you saying the COVID vaccine fucked your hair? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> when I got that job in the SSC arena, my hair started thinning. It's never been the same since. Oh. I'm calling it, lads. Oh, no. COVID-19 yep. vaccine yep. has been thinning my hair. <laughs> I knew it. We're all fucked. We're all, do they want to make us all bald? This is what P. Diddy <laughs> wanted. But when, when we all got the vaccine, it didn't affect our hair. It, it affected Andrew's hair. And yeah, every yeah. Time I got the bad needle. You, everybody's <laughs> vaccine is affecting your hair. Every time um, someone gets vaccinated, it affects your you hair. Lose. Yeah. Stop Some getting tickness. vaccinated. Yeah, this is what happens, guys. No, you got I, the used to have, I used to hand. have really thick hair at the front. Yeah, and then I lost it. And I lost, I know how I lost it. I obviously didn't lose it through COVID. I know exactly how I lost it. I lost Stress. It Stress. Right, right, right. Stress, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'd be, I, I don't know, James, if you've ever noticed. You being stressed? Yeah. yeah. No. Would you, would you, would like, we, we obviously know each other from, like, I, I know Aaron a lot more than I would know you. And, yeah. And I'm, I'm trying to get to know you, but you may I would you're say, no, you... but like, uh, how would you say I come across, do I come across as a stressed person, an anxious person? How would you say I come across? I would say you're very level headed. And it's really easy to see it now that your hair is so thin, how level <laughs> your head is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Boom! oh, James roasted. The, geez, has anyone got cream for the burn? <laughs> Andrew just took there. Ooh. Sean, <laughs> Sean, me and Sean have known each other now for two and a half years. We work together on a weekly basis on yeah. two and a half years. And I think Sean, great relationship. Sean, I think could could give a good uh, review of me. Yeah, uh -huh. and what would that be? I don't, I don't see you getting stressed that often. I, mm. I feel like you have your moments. Where it's the drink. <laughs> it's, look, so the drink's just, been his done. Oh, Sean's is, yeah. assistant Luke, who's going to be taking over the producing of the podcast, as Sean's wife is having a baby, he's just piped up there with some classic banter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, by saying that uh, it's the drink. I got drunk once at the darts. In the but also, <laughs> how long's this baby been cooking, Sean? Uh, this baby's hanging in years. there. This I, baby doesn't I, want to come out. It's it's too comfortable. I I had to get trailed out like by the way. I didn't did want you, when did I was. Did you come out the sunroof? I did get sunroof because my mum was in labour for like 60 hours yeah. and we were like, yeah, let's just get him out now. Yeah. Uh, bo born on the Hillsborough disaster. Second worst thing that happened that day. Anyway, you're her. Okay. <laughs> my hair is fine. <laughs> yeah. No, I just think if they made this bit shorter, it would make this look thicker. No. 
Yeah. No, Have you I've... tried this before? Do you know what I think should happen? This is what I genuinely think should happen. The next time I go to the barbers, uh -huh. I think you should come with a camera and you get them to do oh, it for yeah. me. There. Yeah. You you bring me in yeah. and you tell them what to do. Right. Let's put out a, a call right now. Any barbers in the Belfast area that want me and Andrew to come in, do a few wee silly, silly social media videos, getting Andrew's hair cut, we're, we're up for it and we'll do it. Make right? it part of one of those Instagram videos. Like, yeah. just get Andrew yeah. walking down the street. Excuse yeah. me, mate, would you like a haircut? I, 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 I can't approve it until Aaron's here. I, will, <laughs> I want Andrew in the middle of Victoria Square in broad daylight in the public getting his haircut. Um, but no, if anyone, if anyone does, we would be up for it and have the crack with it, obviously. Okay. And, and we will... We'll we'll do a queer eye for the straight guy on Andrew's hair. But my Did hair is oh grand. Oh my god, yes. My hair this is grand. Loves it. And if I was going bald, I'd have been bald by now. Yeah. That's the way I look at it. I was COVID anyway. <laughs> Shut, uh, <laughs> I love James, the COVID James, James, I want to say something to you. I heard yes. something recently, and I want you to tell me if this is a true. Oh shit! Because right? obviously you're a gay man. Okay. And yeah. you're you're. Are you? Wait here. Not obviously. You said obviously. obviously. Oh sorry. <laughs> this is the most, this is the least obvious gay man like, I've ever seen in my life. Are you all gay? Yeah. <laughs> no, just his toes. Yeah. What the fuck? Do you no, but like, half, like, but you know the way, like, some gay fellas, you'd look, you'd, 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 you'd veer over the other side of the road the I, other time. I would have back in my teen days, but not now. Like, if a woman, if a, if a supermodel came in here now, would you, would you? It would get, be, you get, I might as well be looking. Can at I ask you a question? Wow, no. Do you ever get the horn for a woman? No. Wow. It, it would do nothing. Like, I might as well be looking at that table. That's amazing. Do nothing for you. No. That's pretty cool. It's weird. Like, can I ask you a question? What attracts to you? What, like, like I know what I like in a woman. What do you like in a woman? Uh, Dudes. I, yeah. <laughs> no, I like a woman. <laughs> yeah. I no. like a woman. Um, Thick head of hair on her. Thick, good, good head of hair on her. <laughs> Thick head of hair. I like Some a, that pre -COVID Do you know what her? I actually like in a woman? And I think this is this is years of experience. <laughs> of failed relationships after failed relationships. Mm -hmm. that I'm beginning to think it was them. For the issue. <laughs> right, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is uh, I like a woman that can allow me to be myself 100% of the time. Well, that's allow, allow you to drink. <laughs> you might want to drink this <laughs> I genuinely like Julie obviously is the best crack she's the best partner for yes. me yeah. right yeah. because That's I can good. be absolutely myself stupid and she, someday she'll go okay Andrew's having a moment so we'll yeah. just allow him to she do that and it's you, she sometimes you be with somebody and they're like stop doing that and they kind of tell you to stop being yourself Yeah. Yes. and then when, when somebody allows you to be yourself and allows you to have faults and all that kind of stuff you then become more attracted to them because they're accepting you yeah. Yes. Okay. That's yes. Lovely. And that's an attractive. That's good. Yeah. And, I, and like yep. Julie, like accepts me one hundred and twenty percent. Yeah. Yep. So I'm obviously so attracted to her because I can be myself. Yes. And that's an attractive. It's important. That's something to be attracted to is when someone oh, yeah. allows you to be themselves, right? But I heard this about the gay scene, and I want so uh, I want to know if this is true. So okay, is there cool. different levels of gayness? <laughs> no. No. Hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> of quality gays. The qual okay. There is no, some no, trash no, here, gays. No, this is what I this is what I heard. Right. There is. I'm going to start off. There's platinum gay. Mm, that's okay. like... Now, I'll tell you what I think platinum gay is. A gay yep. person is classed as a platinum gay person when they are born, when they have, they are gay. Yeah. They've never kissed a woman. Yep. They have never done anything with a woman. And when they were born, they you came out of the sunroof. Gay. They came out of the sunroof. Uh -huh. They, they didn't some, even brush. They didn't even the, brush past the, the vagina. Fuck. And they are they known as the platinum gay people? I would say so. Like, do you know, like them toddlers, you're like, that. that's one gay fucking baby. Like, do yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, yeah, right. You can just tell. Okay, yeah. second one. This yes. is one I've heard. There's the gold star gay right. person. No, I'm only telling you what I've heard. Okay. A gold star <laughs> person. <laughs> Nobody told you this. Is, <laughs> is a gay person that has never had it had intercourse or kissed a member of the opposite sex. Right. But they came out when they were born, they came out the natural way. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. And then there's then I was told about the other, the other gay person. The other gay person is you can have a gay man, for example, who ended up getting married to a woman, having two kids, and oh, they're yeah. called cowards. <laughs> now, now, now we're getting the is yeah, that, yeah. That's that someone said to me they were called cowards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't I know imagine, a guy who's gay who was married with two kids. I can't imagine a Would you class them as tears? I would is say they're thing? they're relatively I like I cannot imagine an existence as bad as being gay but having a full family. That would be absolutely like and being closeted, that'd be tough. But all, like that'd be so torturous. How is it? It wow. would be, I can imagine. But how does be a nightmare? Guy able to get it up. That's what I always wonder. I'm like, the, how does that even work? The, and they even finish? Like finishings, you know. But they're probably bisexual, really. Yeah, there's probably yeah. like a bit of bisexual there. But maybe leaning more heavy on I like men yeah. more. I find it very interesting because I live with a so I live like the stress of that. Yeah. I, I but the admin. Uh, yeah, like 
you'd probably have to run two phones, wouldn't you? A grinder phone yeah, and a yeah, grinder phone. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Keep it in the like car. Like. Burner phone, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going yeah, to yeah. the gym, like. Well, you're, yeah, getting, you're getting a workout, yeah. but... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, I lived with a guy, and he was gay, right? Yeah. And uh, he had a partner, and they were together like 15 years, but they lived separately. Lovely couple, really right. nice guys, right? And uh, they broke up for a while, and he obviously was single again. Yes. And he went straight back out onto the, to the gay scene. And his, his thing was married men. Oh yeah, his fetish was married men. Oh yeah, and he would that, actively look for married men and yeah, who were you married don't have to, to look women. Too hard, like, who yeah. were married to women. You open up a grinder right now, boom, you'll find them. Really? Oh yeah, are they everywhere, James? Yes, it's like well, they always ladies didn't... check your husbands. <laughs> yeah, check your husband. Check your husbands. <laughs> I'm getting all sassy on it. I'm like Oprah. <laughs> you gotta check your yeah. They are the the they always yeah. have, they're always called like uh, discreet married. They won't send you a face pic. They want to meet up without letting you know what they look like. Okay, James, can I Which ask you, have you shocking. ever met somebody that's married and No, gay? I have not. There's a good guy right here. All right, okay, can I ask you, are you on Grindr? I've been on it, yeah. Right, because I'm fascinated with the app Grindr, right? We should make you no, a I'm not on it. <gasps> Come to make you one right now. No, 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 no. Why? Why? Okay, no, 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 no. It's a bit of air. It's good podcast content. Judy lets me be myself 100% of the time. I'm not compromising <laughs> it. Can we just make an account with your face pick up and see how long it takes? I will give it a different ma- name. We'll call it like Larry or something. Yeah, see how long it takes someone Larry to message Larry the gay you. guy. <laughs> Literally Larry the gay guy. Cock yeah. in the north. <laughs> oh, the, the two rubber Johnnies. I thought that, I thought that was good. That was good. That's not bad. And yeah, um, we'll see how long it takes for someone to message right. you. have been like, Andrew, is this you Ex- or is someone Can, I, can I ask you a question? Uh, you've been on Grinder. Yeah. You've downloaded it. Have you met oh, people yeah. on it? Yeah. Okay, so you, you put up your picture, you yeah. say where you are, and then someone messages you, hey, do you just meet up for sex? You can if you want. Have you done I mean, that? well, great, right? So the, the grinder is more of you meet up for sex. It's like there's nobody on grinder looking for a romantic. solid romantic relationship. Like mortgage and that. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> That's more Tinder. Like. So so is Tinder a long-term Tinder's, dating solution I would say, gay man? I would say Tinder is more uh, date-based. What's the gay version of Hinge? Tinder? Well, yeah, yeah but Hinge I, does I men as well, I actually it? don't know. I think you can just set your Hinge to... Men. You're interested in yeah, men. So, but yeah. then who messages? Then everyone's just allowed to message. Isn't Hinge the one that the guy messages first? No, Bumble, that's you're Bumble. thinking of. That's well, that's Bumble. 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 Woman messages. I've been a mall. Yeah. I've been on a mall. What's what's Hinge then? Hinge, Hinge is more catered catered towards long term relationships. Right. Yeah. It's kind of come across a little bit more professional, doesn't well, it's, it? It's the app that's designed to be deleted. That's, oh. that's the that's the catchphrase. Great catchphrase, by the way, yeah. for them. To be yeah, fair, I, I met Julie on Hinge. Yeah, Ooh, we went good. on a date. Solid relationship coming from Hinge. Hey. Yeah, like it sounds. I'd say it sounds better saying you met. Oh, we're just made Hinge than we're just made Grinder. Right? Just doing some serious. What, what what have the men been like that you've met on Grinder? Fine. Just good. Just, good decent just lads. lads. Yeah. D- yeah. Yeah. You know. And did you did you go meet them and did you? <laughs> Did you do things like? Sure, yeah. Oh, brilliant for people. That's <laughs> class. Do you know what I think? Is it fun? Gay sex? No, <laughs> meeting people. Like, <laughs> is it fun? Like, oh yeah. But like, you know, you like, you mean just like, you know, you're like, you know, you're getting like, yeah. <laughs> hookups are fun, yeah, but they they can get. Uh, do you know what I mean? Like, you, you, I think the idea of hooking up with loads of people is better than the reality. The reality of it. So that you, the idea of hooking up of with... Like, do you know like somebody who's like, oh, I just want to be single so I can hook up with loads of people? Oh, yeah, yeah. The idea is often better. Yeah, than... I've gone on some awful dates. Yeah, exactly. Awful dates. Yeah, but that's the thing. Waste of time. Correct. So answer me this. So do you just have any apps where you just can meet up and the only, like, the only goal is to do you just have to go on a date every time? You mean like a, pl- a platonic friend app? Is that what you're talking no, about? No, but I mean, like, say, like, do straight people have to go on dates if they want to fuck? Oh no! Can you just go? Let's meet up and ride. No, no, no. Snapchat. Who, uh, 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 Snapchat. <laughs> is that what that's for? Bebo. Bebo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. MySpace is pretty good for that. Uh, hey, I don't think so. No, I, mean, I don't know. No, you don't. Country. Have, you don't. Country. <laughs> you don't have to date the fuck because even if you take apps out of it, like when people would meet in bars and stuff before apps, like you would maybe meet someone and then yeah, just go just home. Like, you know what I mean? Home. Home. Like you don't have to buy back in the old days. Dinner back in the time. classic days when you had to go up and talk to them. How's it going? Had, you're enjoying yourself. Yeah. yeah. You had to pretend you were fucking coming up. Does some your mother know you're out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because that's that's such a downside. Like I kind of like going for a dinner. Surely, like within five minutes of the dinner, you're like, "Oh, this isn't this isn't going to be good." Like, I don't want to, and then well, you have to continue eating the dinner, and 
Do you know what I mean? You can't just leave. That's why you go for an afternoon coffee. Yeah, that's better. Or a, a couple beers. I wouldn't give somebody a first, I wouldn't give my Saturday night up to someone for a first date. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'd give them a coffee. You give them an hour. Yeah, you, get, you get a Thursday you. afternoon for the first date. <laughs> yeah, you just do a quick yeah, hour. Yeah. Have a quick look. Could be a bit of a gawk. See what the crack is like. Yeah. Boom. Out the gap. Don't want to see that person again. And then just yeah. ghost them. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Arn, was... where do you pick up women? I just go with the flow, mate. I don't really pick up women. The woman just, you know, I, just come in my ground. head, it's like a nice, you know, like cool jazz bar. Yeah, I can yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I, I put on a wee war outfit with a wee purple heart on it, and I have a wee hat in my head, and I put it on the bar, and I go, "What are you drinking, toots?" And, yeah. I, and I'm like, "Just come back from service." And I'm like, they send me off again next week. I may not make it back. You want to give, send me away, a happy man? And blah, blah, blah. I do it like that. Like an oh, old. Listen, I imagine wherever you meet up with someone, you're you're Thanks. wearing a dressing gun at all times. <laughs> like you got like a glass, yeah, yeah, sailor hat, cigar that's not lit. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you just keep so... like puffing on it for a no, no, I, no, I imagine what happens is you go out to a bar, Aaron, and you meet like the love of your life, and you bring her back to your apartment or your house that night, and you walk in the door, and it's just pictures of Power Rangers. <laughs> I mean, and she just much, turns yeah. around and gets the fuck out of there. Like she's willing, to, she's willing, she's running across the Shank Hill in the falls just to get back to civilization. <laughs> his house is, I've been on his house, it's nice. I nice mean, it's house. too clean. It's very it's clean. too clean. Scary. Guys, the problem with Aaron's house is it's too clean. It doesn't yeah. look like there's any. Life there. I feel like I feel like you just get home at night, turn off the lights, and just stand them all the room. Aaron, your house looks like there's no life there. Uh, I gotta be honest. I brought you into a show home. I don't live there. I, <laughs> still the moment, the, the, no, no, no. Uh, like his house is so clean. I walk in, I go. You're either have spending way too much time on your own, or somebody come and comes and does this for you, or. You don't live here. Are you actually just living your mum's and you just pay a mortgage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just just thought, it's an Airbnb. Yeah, it's I'm just an Airbnb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too yeah. clean. Like, no, it's, I, but, I like things. To like, be. have you got like because you live on your own? Have you just got like two knives and two forks and two no two I've plates? Got, I and have two a selection. No, I, I have like why would you, you have, have ten? Full of ten water. Like my thing yeah, is I like do. just wild. Why would you have twenty knives and twenty forks? I have four forks and four knives really? roughly yeah 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 so did a party for sixes bring your own cutlery like well there's never it never happens in my house i i just i just live you by would my your worst nightmare is people in your house yeah, your house is a think damn so think so like yeah like yeah i just like peace and quiet and serenity and yeah my Do own you, space you seem to hunt out peace yes Aaron. Yes, I'm a peace hunter, is what people would say. And you live in West Belfast, which is a bit of a contradiction. <laughs> but like. in in the area I live in, it's very quiet. There's no kids. There's no fucking fucking about. There's no. It's it's just all nice and. Where I live is very quiet. I heard the odd dog bark now and again, but it's fine. I mean, it's it's quiet until about July time, and then it yeah. gets a wee bit noisy where you live. No, it is. <laughs> it is quiet. There is a bonfire outside my estate. Yeah. Ah, those quiet bonfires. Those <laughs> silent. <laughs> those sanity. <laughs> Those <laughs> silent wooden pallets. <laughs> Never see those things on YouTube. It's like you, you, like the videos. videos of the open fire. It's just, a fucking, <laughs> it's just one of them. Twelfth bonfire with lo-fi music playing in the background. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm giving them tricolors to burn just so I can feel part of the community. Like, <laughs> do you know what? I bet you it's so much fun. Like just burning yeah. a fucking tricolor for yeah. the crack. Yeah. I love that. Um, yeah. They have a bonfire. Good luck to them. Yeah. I'm not getting involved. Yep. It's I'm look. Look. I'm I'm very happy to be here. And if anything, look, I, I, if I had a spare pallet, I'd probably give it to them. Lovely. It's a bad week for people. It's a bad week for people who are involved in that sort of carry on. Diddy's getting done. He's Diddy. he's being P Diddy. You don't know about P Diddy. I'm not into the rap. What's the rap? <laughs> the fact that you called it <laughs> the rap. The rap <laughs> tells me that you're not into the well, rap. Explain to me about the rap. So they believe P Diddy is like put an E on the end. That that's Puff what you're Daddy? looking for. Puff Daddy changed his name to P Diddy. Yeah, yeah. Didn't he change it a third time? He he's changed now, it to the love. Diddler. He was love. He changed it to Hitler. No. The Diddler. I thought you said Hitler. No, no, no. He's no, been no, crowned no. the Diddler now. Yeah. Right. So P Diddy has what? What's happened to him? He was oh, well. basically running an Epstein like oh. sex ring in the music industry. Yeah. And he, recording everybody, blackmailing them. Yeah. All that kind of stuff. And he was running his genitals into other people's buttholes to be specific thank you um <laughs> so how how did he do this like how how did it just how, took how, a stride just no <laughs> just like started like how long has been going on like, like were these like young music artists like how, yes. who are they like so what? basically the, the the rumors is he's bucked usher he's bucked justin bieber is he gay that's a rumor too yeah yeah but you, that's you, gonna... say, you said that like that's the worst part of it. 
<laughs> we're <laughs> like, we're like, whoa, 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 whoa. hold on a sec. But I thought he was gay. Gay sex trafficking? Is he gay? That's a whole other thing. I don't know. What's I, what's this? I, I, you're I, like, dead. He's gay. <laughs> is he gay? I just told him he's fucked a bunch of kids, and you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop a second. Or, <laughs> were they boy? <laughs> no, I'm not. But Usher's not a child. <laughs> not he anymore. Was once, he yeah. was at one point. Like, oh, almost. right. He yeah. was, oh, I touched him as an adult. No, yeah, no Usher no. just didn't appear as an adult of his mess womb. So P. Diddy is a gay man. Well, we suspect. I bye, think bye, bye, I think. Bye, bisexual, probably. and apparently he abused a lot of young musicians. This so, like, he gets they're... them in. He has these things called freak, freak offs. Yeah. So they're parties at his house, yeah. and he has his entire house cameraed up, and he gets everybody, laces their drinks, gets them in compromising positions, records it. The compromise positions in like, like he'll get them bucking missionary, missionary, yeah, yeah, doggy, um, doggy, yeah, 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 yeah. reverse cowgirl <laughs> on top on top of the wardrobe. He just opens yeah. the Kama Sutra. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he uses it as a menu. So he gets all these cool people all off their fucking face, and he goes around as a shag small, is it? And then when he has videos of it, he can he now controls their career. He's yeah. like, if you don't want this coming out, this is what you're gonna do. And he used to groom all the young male. R&B artist and it was called Diddy's Flavor Camp and that's what he would bring them in. <laughs> Justin Bieber was so in Diddy's Flavor Camp. So how long did this go on? Oh, since the early 90s. It's been... So he's now got arrested for it? Yes. Well, he's not arrested yet yeah. but the place the... raided his houses and there's... They're, they're building a case. They're building the case. And they think it's a bit of an R. Kelly situation, is it? They think worse. Worse. They, they think worse than Kelly. So you're talking he could, this guy's going down for life? He's like could. Epstein. Could, oh could, my could, god could. just yeah. when you think like you, this can't go and get any worse but look the first P did he then Donaldson I, <laughs> both, Donaldson. both two, two worlds you know <laughs> politics and rap yeah. coming together yeah, 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 yeah. in a bad through, way through paedophilia in a bad yeah. way imagine uh, if they had the same defence team the- <laughs> I would like that uh, but I mean you can't believe I don't think you can blame Diddy because Diddy 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 was telling us for years you know he what do you mean? In his songs? Yeah. Like what? what were bad boys for life. He was like, look, I'm a, he's a bad boy. Bad boy for, I'm not going. And we were all work. singing along. We were, thinking we were, it was yeah. cute. But he was like, no, literally. I'm a who, bad guy. Who would be, <laughs> who would be the biggest artist that you love and admire? And if something came out about them, it would actually crush you. Dua Lipa. Oh! <laughs> yeah. If she's it comes cool. out that she's a pedophile, I'll, I'll lose my will to live, I think. Really? How long um, have you loved Dua Lipa? Oh, since. Alicia Keys for me, mate. Alicia, Alicia Keys? Keys? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my! Why, why are you looking around like the government? I have a, have a picture of her there. Oh, picture right, up there okay. of her. Oh my god, you did! I thought it was Connor. Picture Keys. of Alicia Keys. <laughs> Connor Keys. Connor Keys. No, no, not Connor Keys. It's Alicia Keys, James. <laughs> We're just going to tilt the camera up to show people what picture of James Keys. thought was Connor, Connor Keys. Keys. It's, it's Alicia Keys, mate. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, oh, can I ask you a question here? I was thinking about this the other day and I wanted to know, in their generations, who do you think is more famous? Michael Jackson or Taylor Swift? That's a good question. Who do you think? Yeah. No, hold on a second, hold on a second. Who do you think was a bigger star at their peaks? I, right. Maybe Taylor's at her peak now, I don't know. Was it Michael Jackson or is it Taylor Swift? I Who think, do you think's the bigger star? But like Michael Jackson was almost able to do what Taylor's done without social media. Like you could go to a wee, a wee shanty town and sing Michael Jackson. They know what you're singing, surely. Like, yeah, yeah. They know what you're on about. Yeah, like indigenous tribes probably yeah, knew you'd who sing Michael Jackson criminal was. There, yeah, but it. that's because yeah. television had more impact. There was only three channels back then. Mm. Do you see what I mean? What, I are, the, but, what, are, what are the record sales? Who sells more, Taylor or Michael? I think Michael probably has. Do you think Michael? I think, for me personally, I think Michael Jackson and Elvis Presley. Well, Elvis, I don't. Not, not that I don't rate him. Mm. It's just that he never left America. Mm. He couldn't because like he didn't do banger. Like <laughs> he didn't. You know what I mean? did he didn't do I Port think... Leash on a Monday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he didn't do Port. Didn't and do the circuit. Like. Yeah, yeah, he didn't. Do the <laughs> circuit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> didn't do. Mark Nobody's Felt, anything. You know? Do you do think Michael circuit? Jackson is act, was actually bigger than Taylor Swift? Yeah. See, that's another Easy. thing. That's wrapped into the Diddy situation. They're re-questioning that whole MJ, mm. his death. Because they, they believe Diddy had a hand in the deaths of Tupac and Biggie now. And Dalia, that girl who was in the yes. plane. Do you think Tupac was shot because P. Diddy had a video about him and Tupac was about to grass him up and P. Diddy had him killed? Basically, Biggie and Tupac were going to, they were going to leave his record label or something like that, was it not? I don't know enough Are about Are both it. them dead, Biggie They're and Tupac? both shot. Yeah. Jesus. I know. 
I know. I don't know anything about the rap. So. <laughs> I know, I know you don't. The the but yeah, it's uh sat like it's it just it's mad, isn't it? It's all like, mad. Oh, I'd love to know corrupt. producer Sean, could you Google how many albums Michael Jackson sold and how many albums when you well Taylor Swift doesn't sell albums anymore, she downloads. Oh, she would still it. sell. But albums. download still counts as like a sale mm. or whatever. I'm gonna say MJ sold well, Thriller went like fucking Thriller maybe sold forty million or something, didn't it? What's he getting off that? A tenner of pop? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to guess MJ sold maybe like... Do you know what? I say Taylor Swift eight, put eight, up a good fight though because... 80 to 90 million albums. She's a billionaire now. Uh, Michael oh, Jackson yeah. has sold over 500 million oh, wow. records. Oh, wow. Jesus. Um, let me see. Taylor Swift. He's a billion billionaire. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. yeah. Taylor Swift is just billion now. But it's Michael Jackson, isn't it? But the, the, the money that is made by artists now is on the live shows, obviously. I yeah. miss Michael Jackson. I liked him. I mm, liked him. He was good. I used to watch his court cases and everything. Taylor, <laughs> Taylor Swift, uh, 114 million. Oh, okay, oh, so get the fuck, Taylor. Get the go. fuck. Michael get out of it. She's a way to go. Get out of it. Come yeah. back to me when you're up to 400. Yeah. I'll even, I'll look, I'll look at you then. I'll look at you then. Do you know is raging right now? <laughs> 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 what's he sitting on? I think four million. Yeah. Yeah, I would be good. Like When I was growing up as a kid, I used to love him. Love Do you know what? Man. I got really into him. And I still then... watch him if he was clips, but it's one of those where it's like... Mm. Here's saying he was never guilty. Exactly. That's the FBI. Donald Trump isn't guilty at the moment. No, but right. So MJ was investigated for 10 years, phone tapped everything. And at the end of the investigation, they concluded they found nothing. Yeah. Macaulay Culkin came out in an interview and was like, I spent weeks of my life at Neverland Ranch. I was never touched once. And he said like... And if you're going to touch a kid... Home Alone? And, and, and he's Home Alone, yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> perfect, yeah. isn't it? It's all baby trapped. <laughs> I'm just maybe saying. Maybe he watched the film and he's, he's like, like I'm, not, I'm not fucking with that kid. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's going to fucking. Don't want to get an iron to the face. There's going to be like a fucking. His nose can't take it. An iron. A, an iron from, yeah. from the And there was way more props in Neverland Ranch as well. <laughs> yeah. So he could have really did a number on him. Would have really but like... That's what Macaulay Culkin said. He goes, well, Michael says we stayed in the same bedroom. His bedroom's like a four-story house. Oh, yeah, yeah, He's yeah, like, yeah. I stayed in like the fourth floor. Yeah. And he stayed in the bottom. Yeah. We uh, put some questions out to the uh, Instagram today. Amazing. We never do that. That's right? a fun time. James. Ooh. What's your favorite thing about Crawford's? And Crawford's? That comes Crawford's? In from Craig, it's a, it's a convenience Oyster. store in Mahara. Of course it is. Right, what is it? They do amazing subs. Like the nicest subs you can eat. Like a sub as in like lend like, money. <laughs> no, no, like a, a Subway. Yeah. Oh, Subway. Yeah. What's, 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 what's so they just do shop? these amazing, they do amazing sandwiches, sandwiches basically. Yeah, yeah. Good so you, sandwiches. So this this is a place in, in Mahara, where you're from. Yeah, it's got a toy store upstairs. Okay. Not like. It's got a what upstairs? A toy store. There's a toy store upstairs in a garage? No, it's a full shopping center. Oh, like. right, okay. So when you're a kid, your mom would take you down, she'd do the shop and you'd go up and look at the toys. Gotcha. It was beautiful. Nice. That's a beautiful time. Right here we go. This Bomb. is for all of us. If you were on Come Dine with me, what would your what would you cook for your three course oh, meal? Fuck, I'm shy at this. I can't cook for. Right, we start with dinner. starters. I would do pate and crackers. <laughs> do you know what? <laughs> what are you I, laughing at? I like that. There's something, there something so unnerving about the way you looked at me and said that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what it is? What's you, wrong with you? It was on the tip of your tongue too quickly. <laughs> I You've would been do pate and, and crackers. I'd do pate yeah. and crack, a bit of pate, a bit of duck pate. <laughs> yeah. Or a melon. But then, hold on, is the whole... <laughs> slice, slice the melon off. Oh, yeah. Red one, I'd slice the red one off. But here's the, Take out the pips. Here's the thing. Do, how would you cook pate? Do you have to do No, no, thing? what you do is you get Pre-prep. some cream crackers. Pre-prepped. Uh, take them out of the bag. And then what you do is you just take the pate out of the tub and you put it into a little white silver table that looks fancy and you put it in the table I don't know if you could do one. that for a start but the point yeah, of my house you can the, <laughs> the point of come down me is you have to prepare everything fresh but I did prepare I went to the shop and bought the stuff <laughs> no, that's, that's the total opposite of come down with me I went to the that's shop that's come plate with me is what you're doing I went to the shop and bought the stuff no. <laughs> um, no, I would do a traditional vegetable soup, like a nice vegetable broth with a homemade crusty loaf bread on the oh, side of butter. Have a crusty yeah. butter bread. Like. But I, ho- I home make everything. But you're not, not, not sure what you do. You're just buying the bread, like. No, when, you're not. Ba- no, I'm, I'm baking. You're I'm making, making the bread. bread. I said home, oh, home baked. Are you making? Yeah, I'm gonna make In the a bread, bread machine. Like, yeah, I'll do something. I'll make right. it. So I'd have pate and crackers. You'd have soup with bread. <laughs> yeah, but mine's is all rustic made. Yours is just bought from a shop. But you bought the, you've had to buy the ingredients from the shop. Yeah, and what no, I do you know, like you know, like, you know, like come soup. into your house is all every house is fucking. So why don't you buy ingredients for the pate? 
Like, why should I? It's already made. No, like, <laughs> I can do it about anything. Sure, why would I make you a burger when McDonald's have already made one? Guess. Yeah. He said, no, <laughs> you're completely missing the point of come down with me. No, come it's down like, with me. First of all, I have to clean the house. I have to clean the house, right? I have, yeah. I have, to, I have to send them me a dress. Yeah. Like clean the house. Yeah. Sending your dress is just, <laughs> that's just courtesy. Prep. That's not, that's a, prep. That's, that's admin prep. That's prep. I have to, they have to turn up. They have to, the toilet has turn-ups? to be stocked. <laughs> right They're not staying over Yeah I, I might not even have enough chairs They don't have them. to stay over There's not You're, you're looking <laughs> That's not it's part of the show like, is it? Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> They are the Oh he'd pull up there <laughs> Yeah 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 um, No I think you have to home cook Well James what's your Beginner Oh uh, don't even I would My beginner Let me see right Would I have starters If Starter. I'm cooking for myself Yeah 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 um, A wee bowl of special cake to start I like wow. it yeah. I like it it just got I, I like better. it everyone, yeah. everyone everyone will know that and they'll feel oh, comfortable here yeah I like eating a spe- I like eating cereal while my dinner's cooking do you want the ones with the little bits of strawberry in it oh yeah oh fancy oh, that's fine like, no, that's would... a dessert cereal save that oh, for your third course that might be my third course yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right what would you, what, Sean would you what would you have uh, God, you know what Luke's the better cook out of the two of us I'll let him take this one do you cook Luke oh, Luke the sorry, cook yeah. that round my, Luke come up to the microphone that's, that's where you talk For a starter like mm. I'd probably just play the Angelus as well or something <laughs> well, Probably yeah. some sort of chicken wing scenario oh, Chicken okay. wing Get duck, the fingers duck, dirty Duck spring rules yeah, that's, mm. Get the fingers oh, get them. I, I love duck pancakes I love duck pancakes I do duck pancakes I have the whole house camera up as well Like Pete did yeah. Oh like Pete <laughs> And I'll have to be an uncommon If you don't give me a 10 yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't give me a 10 <laughs> Lace in the pot down crackers <laughs> Crack- <laughs> <laughs> this is pattern is very strong. Do you feel like a duck? Yeah. <laughs> um, for main course, for main course, what I do for main course, uh, waffles. I was thinking waffles and beans, waffles and chips. Guys, that sounds Ooh. awful. Well, that's, that's double carb. So, do you know what I do? I do you know what I do. I'd actually do an Irish stew with with oxtail soup instead of gravy. That's such a leap from waffles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, couldn't have got it. I would do an Irish. I go down to. Do you know what I do? I phone Maggie Mays in Belfast. Right. Ooh. Ooh. They used to do great stew, and I'd ring them, and I'd get an UberX delivery. Yeah, yeah. and I get get me four stews, and then what I do is <laughs> I get a pot, and I I'll get a pot, and I'll get a pot, and I'll get a pot, and I put a pot on the gas ring, and I'll pour the stews in, and then when they arrive, I'm just stirring it, going, "Oh, I've been at this big all dirty night. apron, you big chef under the chef chef leg, like, no one else, just the apron, just boxer shorts, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just stirring the stew, going, "Oh, you hope you like it, pouring in wine and all that." Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I would find any excuse to say, you know, lads. The dinners went tits up, mm. but I've got a better solution. We head down. Strippers. Go to the doy <laughs> in. Get 25% off. Go to the doy in. Doy in, yeah, yeah. 25% <laughs> off. Do well done, you. Connor. Okay, okay. What's Sean? <laughs> <laughs> Let everybody go. What's your name? Oh, no. There. Andrew's aging before our eyes. <laughs> His, I'm not his a, hair's a, getting thinner. You had, a, you had a birthday a few weeks ago, and I didn't even know. You let it slip under the radar. I don't. Yeah. Uh, I don't announce my birthday. No, I you don't. really don't. Did yeah. you party for? Do you know no. I've uh, I've never had a birthday party. What? Yeah. Even since you were a baby. Uh, up until I was probably 13, 14, never had. And a that's birthday when they party. stopped. You were like, you've had enough. No, I've just never had. Them. Yeah. You thought fourteen? You were like, like I can't reveal my like, age after fourteen. Like a party, like my twenty-first. I think I had like six, five or six people. My parents just in my yeah. mate's place. I like that. That's nice. Okay, I, I don't like going all out for yeah. birthdays either. Like, doesn't so really do I, I never celebrated. I don't like know. it's my birthday next Tuesday, and Is I'm, in the, I'm in the Empire. Oh, brilliant! Let me have a look see if I'm available. No, here, don't do it. Hold on. Yeah, all right, you'll run it. The the. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. You, uh, you might be on. Are you on? Oh, I'm on. So there you go. Oh, this is going out. So I'm going to be spending my birthday with you. I think this is going out after that gig. Well, then, well, here, let's <gasps> let's talk about it as if I'll it happened. I'll because I'm off next day. That was, that I'll was get class. a week, Janice. Yeah, 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 that'd yeah. be getting nice. paid. Yeah. But f- finally, finish up. I want to finish up. What would you I do an Irish stew just before we move on from this. What would you do, Aaron? If you're made? Uh, spaghetti. Bag nice, ball. Spaghetti nice, bolognese. Nice spaghetti. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's that yeah. thing where it's like cheese, meat, cheese, cheese, cheese? Lasagna. I would do lasagna. <laughs> Loads of red wine. <laughs> Which is basically a, a spaghetti pie. It's food. Yeah. It's, it's a Big Mac. You literally just described the Big <laughs> yeah. Mac. No, yeah. Sean, what would you do for your main course? Um, I would make a, like a chili stew okay. sort of thing. Okay. Um, bit of Mexican, bit of Irish. Quite the mix. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I would make that. And we sweet potato wedges. Oh, Fuck. oh, oh sweet mate. potato lad. You, do you know what? I wasn't a fan until you said those wedges. Now I'm in. Now, yeah. I'm, mm. now I'm sold. I love a sweet potato. Yeah. 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 What about your? Did we name? Oh, your. your so mine's name? be mine's be lasagna. lasagna. And I would do like I would make my own garlic bread. 
And Did you ever make your own garlic bread? No, no, nah, don't. Very cook. nice. They're the, and your main is uh, stew from Maggie Mays. Stew established. from Maggie Mays delivered and dessert. Dessert, I'm doing a a, a a brownie that has been microwaved for like 15 seconds and one oh. scoop of vanilla ice cream beside it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give the celiac, if there's a celiac in the, <clears> in, the, <throat> in, the, in the thing, I'm going to give them... Um, you um, require a I'm celiac gonna them, for the meal. I'm going to give them some... Oh, I'm going to give them some wheat. Some wheat? <laughs> no, wheat. Oh, wheat. wheat. <laughs> they're allergic ah, that's to good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll get you a high score. Like an eat, an eaten mess, but with... with, with, with uh, with wheat, with wheat, and animals. wheat and special care, special care. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, what would your party care. trick be in the come down with me house? I juggle. I can juggle. You I, can you actually juggle? I can juggle. Don't yeah. fuck. I'm very good at juggling. Wait, hold on. We need to get something for Andrew. I'm really juggle. good we'll, at. Juggling. We'll bring in some juggling balls. Sometime I can juggle. We'll like, I'm, one of, I'm one of. I'm I can do from very my back. Very aggressive. Can you do, how many can you do? How many balls can you juggle? I oh at one time. Yeah. Oh three. Three. Can you be trusted to juggle three phones? Oh no! If, no, if you give me the phone, they're yeah. all different sizes. That'd be if there's anything joke. there, Sean, to juggle, I can juggle. I I, I love that. I'm a good is, juggler. This is the point where we've got to, where you're trying to prove your worth by juggling. <laughs> you're like, I need. Sean to, is trying to, to the juggle. There. Classic forms of entertainment. Is juggling. Sean has right, found. Here we go. Oh, Sean's found three yeah. similar size cello tapes. That's perfect. Hi, Andrew, no pressure. This is what are we doing here? We're ready. Uh, all right. This is they're not comfortable. I know they're not the best. They're not the best. And here he goes on come down with me. It's Andrew Ryan. Oh well. One. <laughs> Sign up to the Patreon to see more juggling, ladies and gentlemen. Sign up to the Patreon to see more. Yeah, so getting back to the birthday thing, Aaron. I am. Um, you didn't celebrate it. I didn't celebrate it. Um, I had a nice birthday. What age uh, did you turn? Ah, uh, we 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 had a good day. I don't roughly, know. I don't know your age. No one knows my age. Man. You could be I actually. Yeah. What are you? You're mid thirty. You're in your thirties. Yeah. No, he's not. He's not in his thirties. He's fucking forties. Oh, not yeah. in my forties. You're definitely not in your forties. You're absolutely Aaron, in your forties. Aaron Butler. Release the birth certificate, Aaron Andrew Ryan Butler. You're, you're, <laughs> I in your fifties. Butler, I don't know. your mum's in my DMs. Yeah, yeah. Nah, don't start on mums because you know. Hey. That goes. Uh, the, the, no, I met his uh, mum was having no. lunch there with her, with, well, her, with her first husband. You weren't having lunch with my mum. My mum was there yeah. as you were having and I, lunch. Well I, well, I was having lunch and she was having lunch at the same time at a different table. But we were. Did having you know lunch. her previous? Yeah. Like, so you know I never mom. said that we were having lunch together. I said we were having lunch. Your mum has lunch with me every day too. Didn't spurt. The the his mum was there. Just, <laughs> the, the, you know what I mean. The the um. Every but day. yes. Um, <laughs> every day. Uh, um, but every what I was going to say day. is is that I had I what did I do for my birthday? We don't know what I do for my birthday. Oh, I was off. I'm 35. I went to Cork. No, you're not. Cork. Next you? next week I am. Yeah. You're 35. Wow. Yeah, next week. Jesus, fair play. How old are you, James? 30. See, I, we don't Sean, how old are you? Just around my 30th birthday. I'm 27. 27. Be, and 30. 35. And you know. <laughs> <laughs> See? We don't know. Release the birth certificate. I should Can be. I can I tell you about it uh, very quickly on this about an incident I had with somebody over my birthday? Okay. That you know when you go on Twitter. And I'm not on Twitter, but when you go on Twitter, you see people who have. This sound. I know this is a bad sentence. I know, I know. Go on. But you know when you know when people go on Twitter and they say stuff that's just fucking ludicrous. Yeah. But then when you meet them in real life, they're Lovely. actually quite a decent person. That's my dad, right? Well, I actually had a conversation. Like a I had a conversation. I had a conversation with somebody where they. It was like I was in Twitter. Ah. Right? Oh. Okay. I was like, this is actually like a Twitter. This is actually yeah. like a tweet. This is so dumb. This is actually, I actually feel like I'm having a Twitter back and forth, but this is in real life. And this is it. I was born, I wasn't born in Cork, right? I was born in County Westmead. I was born in Athlone, okay. which is mm. the centre of Ireland. Right. And my parents lived in Athlone. And, up, and I think I was four or five years of age. And then when I was four or five, I was taken to Cork. <laughs> right? I thought you were just going to say I was, I was taken. taken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like no, I was taken right? I didn't have any choice over it. Yeah. <laughs> right? Parents got jobs, so I went to Cork, right? Mm. So I grew up. <laughs> what age were you when that happened? Four yeah. or five. And what four. year was that? I can't. Was... <laughs> <laughs> Would this have been in the 70s? <laughs> no, it's or... not the 70s. <laughs> late 80s, very late 80s. Right? <laughs> oh, well. and, uh, so I was taken to Cork as a child uh, to be relocated, right? <laughs> and when I... I... So I grew up being Cork. Yes. Because I'm, 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 I'm a class myself. I'm in Cork, yeah. I class myself as being from Cork. Like, yeah. Yes, like this, unless this is a fucking lie. Yeah, no, I know, I know. But I know. if someone said to me, where are you from? And I just from Cork, because that's all I remember. Well, yeah. Growing yeah, up in Cork, right? Yeah. So I'm having a conversation with somebody at the Edinburgh Festival, another mm-hmm. Irish person. Mm-hmm. And we're chatting about it. And then they turn around to me and they went, which hospital were you born in Cork, Andrew? And I went, oh, I wasn't born in Cork. I was born in Athlone. 
you were born in Athlone. I said, I was born in Athlone. You couldn't have been born in Athlone. There is no maternity hospital in Athlone. I said, yeah, there is no maternity hospital today. Mm. But when I was born in the 80s, uh, there was a maternity <laughs> hospital. The maternity hospital. Sean, look up what year the maternity hospital went Dundor. away in Athlone. <laughs> I bet <laughs> you it was 1964. <laughs> <laughs> Producer Sean, look up the Athlone maternity hospital in the 80s, right? <laughs> In the the 80s. 80s. Right now, they then yeah. said to me, "There's no way you were born in Athlone. I think you were born in Monaghan." <laughs> and I went, so "I went, no, I actually have a copy of my birth cert photographed in my laptop, you know, stored, and I have like, you know, I have copies of everything because if you need them for for stuff, right?" And it says <laughs> Athlone Hospital. It's signed by the matron. It's obviously the maternity wing. It was a small maternity wing. Like yeah, it was a rural yeah. countryside. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? It's a small place. My mother worked in one of the hospitals there. Right? They've obviously closed it down and moved the maternity hospital over to Mullingar. So they've mal- amalgamated the hospitals, I think, in the 90s or whatever it was, right? <laughs> but when... But when what? What? <laughs> Sean, well, no. what is this it? isn't the answer, right? But well, the first thing that came up when I was when I wrote in after maternity hospital, it came up Irish maternity hospitals, nineteen thirty to nineteen fifty five. They're seventy years old. We're doing a podcast <laughs> with the crypt keeper right there. <laughs> Got a photo of yourself I, on that wall. I, it's, gets older it's like older. remember The Shining where he's like, or no, is, what's the one Jack Nicholson's in yeah. where it's like the old photo? Yeah. That's Andrew just said fucking going back. But I, I anyway, <laughs> she said that I was born in Monaghan. And I went, I wasn't born in Monaghan. Oh, it was she? That person said, oh no. Sake, it's getting right. oh no. You're cracking me. I'd be very bad under a police investigation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not telling you nothing. Where were you? I was over there. <laughs> <laughs> what time are you there? It's done to do with me. It was just before lunch. <laughs> so I said I wasn't born in Monaghan. My, Monaghan's in the north, isn't it? No. 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 It's, it's close. part of Ulster, but it's in the Republic. Yeah. Okay. So I said, no, I was born in Athlone, County Westmead. It's That's what it says on my birth cert. It says, it says, place a, County of birth, and it says on Irvy. On Irvy is County Westmead mm-hmm. in Osquelga, yeah. right? And then she actually turned around to me and said, Andrew, why would you lie about the place where you were born? You weren't born in Athlone. And I actually said to myself, I can't continue this conversation. Did you, you didn't like, know this person? No, you knew. It's I just, knew, I just vaguely like, like, like So yes. I then panicked and thought, maybe I wasn't born. Is my whole life a lie? In fucking <laughs> Athlone. Yeah. And I texted my sister and she went, we were all born in Athlone. Yeah, yeah. My sister was born a year and a half previously in the same fucking hospital. Athlone yeah. in the north. <laughs> doesn't have, doesn't have no, quite the ring to it. Really. So I genuinely thought I was having a Twitter conversation. <laughs> and this, this, this conversation yeah. happened about nine years ago. Yeah. And that night I deleted Twitter, even though it wasn't Twitter, it was real life. Oh, that and I said, you know what? These fucking people, and this person is an avid Twitter user. Mm. And I went, you know what? These people, man, they're... They're, they're fucking idiots. But here, Twitter's great. But I deleted it, got out of it, and I said, you know what? But that person to this day is convinced that I was born in Monaghan. And, and, and I'm like, no, I was born in that loan. But yeah. they told me where I was born. That's like it's I fucking delusional. Like, yeah, yeah. People. Why would like what? Like if I was born in Cork, <laughs> Offaly, Dublin, or Westmead, or Galway. Like, why would I pick Athlone? What advantages yeah, like, do bragging. I have from saying mm-hmm. I was born Athlone? Athlone's a shit. It's a lovely, it's, it's, it's very small. <laughs> like, very small. Like. <laughs> Um, do you know actually, what I'm saying? I actually can't find any record of it. Because I think after I was born, they went, we've, we, we've, we've, we've hit the peak of medical science. They were like, oh, we probably shouldn't deliver any more babies here. Let's destroy yeah. this place probably, like the omen. This, this one's... Cork of the North, thank you very much for joining us. Jump over onto the Patreon for more stuff. Links below. Touch it. Well, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs>